What's up guys, another day here. I am at the local junkyard, uh, the one that I went to before to pull some parts from my car. Last time I was here, you remember I pulled some parts out from my car and on the uh, door panel, I forgot to grab the part for my switches. This part that goes right here that holds those. Since the years of the Mazda 6 are different, after 2004, everything was changed. Uh, 2003 was the very first year they made the car, so everything after that is completely different. So I'm hoping I can find everything I need. I'm going to see if they've got an exhaust manifold as well, because last time I looked, they didn't have one. But hopefully we'll get some luck. As you can see, once again, since I've been here, they've already crushed a bunch of vehicles. But thankfully, they have the one I need right over here. I'm going to see if they have any new cars here as well because I've got some more parts that I need. But thankfully, this is the one that I needed. And if all goes well, there we go. There it is. Sweet. What I should have done was actually brought my other stuff with me because there are some things in here that I could still use but not everything that I need is in here. The door panel that I put on the car um, that I changed out was actually a six six and a half door panel instead of the six byte. So if I come back tomorrow I might actually change out that door skin and put that one in my car. But uh I guess we'll see. Kinda wanna know the story behind this car. Uh, looking at that, looks like either a pole or a tree. Just a bunch of walking around, finding nothing at this point. Um, no exhaust manifolds. Managed to find the switch assembly, but nothing besides that. Um, I'm hoping that I check these other few cars out over here, and maybe I'll come up with something. Who knows? Guys, I'm actually really, really happy right now. They finally have a V6 Mazda 6 here. Um, bright side. Let me show you right here. If you can see the bottom of that, they have a catalytic converter. So, um, that's a bright side. Only downside is the exhaust is completely different. So, unless I want to take that... Uh, connector pipe that goes in the middle that might be the only thing that I can do but uh they do have one here so I'm gonna come back tomorrow bright and early I'm gonna get the uh, gonna get both of the valve covers off and um, that way I can get those I can get the exhaust manifold everything that I need so we are in luck now Alright guys, kind of happy about this. Um, I'm going to make a second part of this um, when I come back tomorrow. Because I absolutely need to get the valve covers from that car. Because both of mine are completely stripped out. The front coil can't even hold itself in place. So I'm going to come back tomorrow and I'm going to get those valve covers. And um, the only issue, the uh, exhaust manifold... That car's a manual and mine's an automatic so it won't work on mine but hopefully I will uh, be able to get everything else uh, just try to call a neighbor of mine to see if he could come up here today and help me out but he didn't answer the phone so anyway we're gonna make a part two of this for tomorrow so we'll catch up where we uh, left off on here 